Right John, second part of your assessment, copy that if you can, all jokes aside, come on, it is part two, I need to see what you can do out on the golf course. Thanks Matt. Just giving you that lovely demonstration. I'm better behind the camera though, I'm in front of the camera. No, no, you come this side, <laughs> come on in, come on in. Okay, so, so as I said, nice little par three up a hill. We have come out onto the golf course, this isn't the first hole here at Kilio. Um, but it's a nice straightforward hole, par three, and the whole point of this part of the assessment out on the golf course is to see how my friend here, John, gets on with all the different lies, all the different grasses, and more importantly, even shot selection, and how his processes in his mind work. For example, here, John, what do you see up on this hole? Uh, well, first of all, I see a big tree. Yeah. Um, it's quite narrow between the tree and the bushes, so yeah. accuracy is key. <laughs> yeah. That's a laugh. <laughs> um, and from what I'm guessing, there is a big mound or yeah. yep. ridge or something yeah. in the way, yeah? Yeah. So short, you end up in the rain. Yeah. So definitely long is better than short, without okay. a doubt. Um, but it's interesting straight away when we're discussing these things that your mind automatically was focused on maybe where you don't want to hit the ball. Yep. Okay. Whereas all I was seeing up there was, right, there is a flag at 125 yards. Let's just pick the club, concentrate on the yardage and go for it. But okay. as we said, this is half of the assessment. Yes, we've got all the physical side, but we've also then got the mental side about thought processes and definitely tip one already start focusing on where you want the ball to finish more so than where you don't want the ball to go okay okay anyway okay we haven't blurred that out just because uh, i miss hit i haven't hit yet uh, no. i'm just checking that matt was actually in shot for all of that uh, Indeed, I don't want to take the limelight the off John too much, but you know, it would look bad if I just stood here. No, it's <laughs> fine, no, no. It's the Matt Tutnett show, that's absolutely. Uh, you go for it, John. The overall becomes the Matt Tutnett show. No, come on, here we go. Didn't quite make the bush. Didn't quite make it. No. But all, overall, it's not too bad. Now, before anyone gets into trouble with practicing out in the golf course, if you think that ball's lost or you want to hit a provisional, you're very welcome to do so. We do know where the ball's gone. Yep. And again, what I want to look at is all these different types of shot and how you react to different situations. Sure, I reckon I absolutely guessed the wrong club, yep. which, which is another issue yep. that high ab handicappers yeah, yeah, have, definitely. and I certainly do. Yeah. You know, well, you're saying 115 yards? Yeah, 120 120 to, yards, to so I'm going all yeah. eight iron, yeah. but it's uphill. Yeah. And you've got that ridge, yeah. which obviously if it bounces, it would have gone further, but. Definitely, yes. Yeah. yeah. So any other normal day, no wall in the way, it would have been the right, the right okay, length. But and I'm also, not taking if, that into account. And if we was on the driving range, that's probably gone down as an okay shot, just yeah. slightly right to centre. The reality of the golf course environment, you're probably one club out yeah. with the difference of height. Um, but as it is, and as we'll see on the camera in a minute, you're now faced with a little chip pitch up and over a wall. Okay. Let's walk and talk Lovely. as we go. No problem. Off we go. Right, John, uh, we found your tee shot. It's hit the wall. It's come back a little bit. Left you with this shot. Remember, today's about assessing how you do things. So I'm not going to jump in and throw another ball down and play it and then say, copy me. Yep, okay. It's your choice. I want to see what you do. So go grab whatever club you want to from your bag. Okay. I will grab one that I would probably use. But you're going to go first on this To me, one. this is like a bunker shot. This is like straight up yeah. in the air, isn't it? Hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Definitely. I was just talking to Matt as we just quickly nipped up here on the buggy. One of the th issues I have as being a high handicapper and lacking experience is guessing the club. Yeah. And often if someone better than me goes out and hits the first shot, no matter where I am and what course, and I say, oh, what are you using? And they yeah. tell me. Yeah. So I think you... What, do you hit a... I hit a nine. Nine. Oh, okay. So I'm going... Yeah. 
oh hit a nine yeah. i just go a bit worse than that so i'll go for an eight yeah that's just guesswork yeah, i should have definitely. i should start learning my yardage and going actually that distance is a seven yes in yeah. my and also yeah. the other thing is part and parcel being at the golf course there is just that little bit of breeze up there as well which when we were back on the tee down there we were quite sheltered by all the trees you don't notice it now no, until you're here and then suddenly it's more open isn't yes, it yes definitely definitely okay. so but it goes down on our list of things to do doesn't yeah, it yeah yeah. Uh, and as I say to everyone, we're going to have this maybe a long list of things to do. Absolutely. And okay, you can go down that left hand side, distances, know your distances, but there's going to be other important ones and we can always shuffle that list. Sure. And when you come for your weekly lessons, we'll maybe take one or two of those points that we've looked at today and, and in the other part of the assessment and say right we'll concentrate on that today okay, yeah okay yep, so yep. everything's a bonus all your bad shots oh, are opportunities absolutely. yeah yeah and that's why we're here perfect okay, okay let's let's grab a club grab a club or two right then john come on back okay. I've, got, I've picked a club here i'm trying not to show you what i've got okay um, um, i want you to play it in terms of length it can only be about oh, less than 20 yards of the flag okay um there is at least one, two, maybe three yards to the wall, um, and the wall is well chesty but, yeah, height. That, that, but that's the first thing I look at. I'm not yeah. looking at distance. I'm looking yeah. at get it over that wall. Yeah. Because it's suddenly yeah, yeah, yeah. a massive object in a way. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I'm thinking it like a bunker. Close. It's like I'm deep yeah. in a bunker. So for me, it's my highest lofted, and it's a sixty. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm not. I just want to get over. Perfect. If possible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go for it. So try and do the same routine you do normally, same amount of practice swings as you do normally. And if you don't do practice swings, don't have them now, just because I'm here. Well, I often have practice swings for pitching, but never always works right. Yeah. Well, I wish I could do that every day. Wow, it's pretty good effort, <laughs> that, wasn't it? Who needs lessons? I, I, I almost don't want to have a go now. But just as a very quick point, right? The swap yep. places, swap yep. places. Um, and it is maybe how a lower handicapper looks at this. In terms of, and I almost gave away what I was thinking. And that was, if you've got one, two, three paces, to your wall or obstacle, and that's less than three paces high. Goes back to why you should have paid attention at school at trigonometry. Oh yeah, right. We okay. know that that angle is less than 45 degrees. Sure. Okay. I.e., I'm three yards from the wall. If the wall was three yards up, we got a 45 degree. You've picked your most lofted. Whether that camera showed it or not. Hit a lovely shot that would have cleared that wall had it been double the height. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually um, de-lofted it slightly because I yes, put yeah. it, it back a lovely. Um, so, so straight away what I'm saying is the good player probably doesn't necessarily look too much of sure that obstacle as a height thing, but would be looking at right, hang on, look, I need to make my 20 yard swing. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, and certainly expectations yes they're going to be different to you as they are me as they will be to your viewers but certainly again as we said on the tee don't look at the i don't want to go here look at you can hold this yeah look yeah. At, don't look at the obstacle look at the objective yeah definitely yeah. definitely always look at the positive oh, yeah. also we've also got helicopters as well as lumberjacks today so it's apologies all, for sound i was gonna say it's all kicking off here all kicking off, off, yeah. right let's have a go john see if i can get inside here and again i'm just using my 56 and that was a lot less speed a lot less aggression yeah. than i would think i was doing i was yes. trying to thump it to get it yeah. out I didn't need it did I, I think the biggest issue was you was you was trying to get it over that wall yeah I'm trying to just play a 20 yard shot. 20 yard <laughs> shot, knowing that I've got enough loft to get over that wall. Yeah, if you strike it properly, it will yeah, do that loft definitely. anyway. Definitely. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I will say, and we'll see it on the camera in a second, the experienced player. Yeah, you're inside, I've run on and. I've left myself an uphill putt. Yeah. 
But then if your objective was to get over the wall, get over the wall, get over the wall, you've I've, done it. I've achieved it, because yeah. quite often I'll end up in there. Exactly. And then I'm yeah. lumbered. But so. imagine what would have happened if your expectation was, I could hold this one, I could hold this one. You might well achieve it. Yeah. So again, set more, yes, realistic expectations, but optimistic as well, rather than just get over the wall. Yeah. You're better than that, John. Okay. And that's what we're going to do this winter, get you better and better, but you're going to have to start thinking better, yep. playing better, and then the results will follow. Absolutely. Yeah? Okay. Let's go and see if we can hold the puck. Perfect. Ironically, you'll probably hold yours and I'll miss mine. <laughs> Right, John, in a minute, come on down and have a look at this, but I'll quickly just talk you through. You've got, and again, maybe this is something you need to already be thinking about, you've got approximately one, two, three, four, five yards down the hill. I've probably, ironically, got on my pitch up the hill the same, but is a five yard putt up the hill better than your five yard putt down the hill, yeah? If anyone was watching the FedEx playoffs at the weekend, the championship, what did Justin Rose do on that last hole? Left it short, left himself an uphill putt. The only place he didn't want to go was long of the hole. The good news is we're not at Oak at East Hill now. And we're not where we're 10 million. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. We're playing for the traditional cup of tea rather than the 10 million. But come and have a go, and it's up to you entirely whether you're going to putt this or chip this or do something completely different. Come on in. Okay, okay Matt, so I'm, I'm, off, I'm off the green so I can't line up properly. No. Nope. Um, Oh, it's a pretty good effort it was, though, it was, John. It was close, but yeah. like you said, downhill, really tentative. You're just touching them thinking, yeah. just get off that green bit and it'll just roll and roll and roll. Indeed. But uh, it wasn't a bad read. Um, but yes, maybe it was the approach it shot. Was a, it was a scary read though, yes. I'd say. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think you left yourself a tricky part. Yeah. Yeah, okay, right. But I'd be really pleased with that, you know, let's be honest. Definitely. Yeah. For me, that'd be really yeah. good. So. Yeah. And again, they, they say we'll give you that putt, so you're in for four yeah. anyway. Yeah. Okay. Right. We're just going to move this camera position. Okay. So, John, I'm giving you your putt. I'm going to have a go with mine. And for those eagle eyed viewers there that I know are great fans of yours, those two balls, one was my tee shot, the other ball was the shot. I chipped up or pitched up from where you was, yeah? Just for the demo. Uh, just for the demo. I'm going to pick up the tee shot and just see for a personal battle, me versus you, whether I can hold the uphill five yard putt versus your five yard downhill putt. Okay. Yeah? Okay, let's have a go. Well, I think that's the other thing we were saying a minute ago is, um, you know, I'm, I just get myself on the green, but I have to think about getting myself into a position where the putts are achievable. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. The advantage of being on the green, I can mark it, place it, go through my normal process. I know it's a kiss of death to say I know these greens quite well. Um, and I don't, but... Let's see whether I can get this just under five yard putt in. Bit of a bobble there, wasn't it? But, oh, oh, close, but no cigar. Very good. Well, with your shot, John, we'll call it a half. Yeah, shot. because your your first shot would have been near there. So we'll call you a three, I'll call it a four. Yeah. Absolutely. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Right, next hole, here we go. Helicopters back, Matt. Helicopters <laughs> everywhere. It's a rescue helicopter, I'm sure it is, honestly. It's trying to rescue me. But maybe they've sent a, you've sent them an SOS. <laughs> uh, there you go, we're going to carry on anyway. Fifth hole. It's a drivable path for this one if we get it going long enough. Um, and certainly I'd be thinking, yes, I should be able to knock it on. But remember, today's about you. I'm just 
hopefully showing you the way. Um, so let's have a go first and then you can have a go. Long and straight. Okay. Wasn't the best one. Don't copy that for line, but length's pretty good. Okay. I left the tee ready for you. <laughs> right, so first thing you've taught me is line yeah. up on here yeah. as well as anywhere else, yeah? Absolutely, John. Okay. Oh, that's a bit low, Matt. Bloody, yeah. I do little ball off that tee that low. <laughs> well, that might be in less than number 10. Yeah, we might not need that many. <laughs> okay, so I'm not just copying you with the driver. I'm going with the driver because distance, and yeah. it is quite a wide space, hopefully. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Remember what we talked about on the last tee, try and focus your energy where you want the ball to go because when you've got a big wide open space like this it's too easy to look at maybe the bunker on the right, the bunker on the left, the trees up the right, the trees on the left. Focus on that flag. Yeah, and again when you look at this one back John later on when you're editing the video I think you'll look at it and go hang on no wonder Matt's written down on his list of things alignment yeah because, absolutely like everyone who watches my yeah. videos will know with driver certainly yeah. alignment is awful yeah. for me and I was gonna say it was almost like you were aiming let's be kind 10 degree right yeah of the flag and that's being kind and that ball's finished at least 10 degree left of the flag yeah. so it's got nothing to do with where your feet are setting up but everything to do with where the path of the club's going and again on the driving range and most driving ranges are wide open um, that might not have shown up as as much as it did here sure. looking straight but down the line a, of a hole. A direct target yeah. kind of aiming yeah, for. Yeah, definitely. But as it is, that's why we're out here. We're going to have a yeah. look at this next shot. Okay. Right, John, I think you did this deliberately because had you hit it down the middle, I might have even suggested we set up some scenarios that you could only find out in the golf course. And when I, say I can always find the scenarios you need to find that. Well, I, I did think they used to call you Sevy, yeah. didn't they? Or something like that. <laughs> um, now, all jokes aside, you've got some height issues here. In terms yeah, we've of got a great big tree height. here. You've also got a nice little bunker place just on that side of the fairway. Which you kind of need to go on. you need to go to get down to that flag. Okay. So again, it's all about your club selection and choice. Noticeably, I haven't come out of the golf club because the first thing I would do is stand next to it and think, right, what sort of swing can I make to go low enough but get it far enough? So you're doing visualisation for the yeah, techniques, really? Yeah, definitely. And also, the first thing that goes in my more secondary, maybe, is how far away are all those obstacles and things? I.e., in my mind, that bunker's 10, 20, 25 yards to the front edge of it. 30 to carry but I don't think realistically you're going to carry it because you haven't got the height um, but then if we're looking at the flag it's got to be about 60 yards yeah maybe the landing point should be just next to the bunker yeah but your choice that's yeah, why we're here but like you said I, I agree there's no way I can get the height because even if I was good at hitting balls up in the air yeah uh, which is an issue I want to discuss at some point yes. um, there is a really big tree here I mean it's yeah massive yeah 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 okay pick a club have a go right now i'm gonna go seven iron because i think it's a bit of a pitch and run type thing yeah um like i said just kind of right hand of the bunker and hopefully it'll yeah run yeah and i think this is where again everyone has to be realistic i don't think you can probably get to the left side of the flag on the angles 
the again. And, and this is a point maybe someone brought up in one of our last videos we did when we went down the first hole about the difference between a scratch golfer and someone that's got a golf handicap. Well, nice as possible, you're actually getting a shot on this hole. Yeah. And the current handicap is? 34. 34. Right. Okay, so you're not getting a two because it is the easiest hole on the golf course, but you don't need to do this in four. The worst thing that's going to happen now is, is you nobble it down into the bunker, flap around I in the I could do bunker. that if you want that, no, just a demonstration. Don't, no, don't, okay. don't, don't, don't. Have another three putts at the end and come off of it, having dropped a shot to your handicap. Whereas at the moment, you're fine here. We can nudge it out onto that right half of the green and hopefully two parts and you actually pick the shot up. But I think that's the other thing, it's expectations. Yes. You know, we, we watch golf on tally all the time when we go and, oh, that's like 70 yards and a bunker on that. Yeah. I should be getting it on the green and whatever. Yeah. Not, I've got all these extra shots. Yeah. I should be making use of the shots to play and Definitely. not yeah. completely getting my expectations yeah, yeah, yeah. wrong, yeah, put myself under yeah. pressure. Yeah. Yeah, precisely. And it's also, and we, we want to carry on so we can stand it for ages at all, but it's all about not compounding your problems. Um, yes, the tee shot wasn't as accurate as it could have been, but now take your medicine, get it back in play, if we can get on that right half of the green, fantastic. Does, bit too hard again for yes. me. And it does say on our list of things to do, left hand side, it says distance control again, but yeah. on the shorter shots. Yeah. And it's all well and good everyone standing on the range hitting shot after shot full swing. Most of your shots out in the golf course are going to be anything but full swing. Yeah, little halves, yeah. little quarters. Exactly. Yeah. And okay, the tee shot, full swing. Yeah. Second shot, not necessarily. Third, fourth, hopefully you don't have much more than five and six, but the majority of your shots are not gonna be full swings, yet most people spend hours on the driving range hitting full swing after full swing, come out on the golf course, and the thing that was wrong there was not the technique, but just that judgment. Yeah, if it had been 10 yards shorter, yeah. it would have rolled better and exactly. died on the green. Yeah. This 10 yards further, yeah, no, it rolls off precisely. the edge of the green. But that's why we're here. We're yeah. making that list, which is getting longer and longer. But that's no, no, it's, and that's exactly longer. what it's about. And I mean, do you yeah. think the people when they go on the range, they want to get their money's worth? So they, they get 100 balls or 50 balls, or whatever, yeah. and they don't want to go little chips, because that's no. like a waste of a shot. They want yeah. to go, just so yeah, oh, they can get yeah. 200 yards. That's a waste of a 10p golf ball, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So I need to hit it 300 yards, which ironically, they'll probably end up, end up topping 10. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, you're dead right. Right, let's go okay. see where it's Right, John, just to prove the point we don't cut and edit every single shot we hit, I have missed the green right. Annoyingly, it was pin high. So on my list, it might be a case of why do my drives leak out right? I'd have to look back at the video and maybe analyse if I was doing it more times than not, why did I get the length spot on on pin high but I've missed it annoyingly right. But in this case, I am going to pick this one up and take it over to yours. It's got nothing to do with you. This is all about me. Exactly. Typically. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Come on, let's go over to yours. No problem. Plus the other thing, John, of course, is uh, you, you've got an easier shot than me. <laughs> so come on, you play yours first. Uh, and okay, as so always, I'll give you some advice. Yeah. And again, you told me to pick my club. Yeah. Um, I'm going with a 50. Yeah. Uh, out of all my funny blue wedges, my 50 I can prefer. It's okay. like my go to club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick question mm -hmm. before you're going to hit that how far is that flag away? Yeah, see, this is the other thing. Everyone looks at watches, but quite often yeah. they don't work in a lot of places. Um, I'm guessing 30 yards. Yeah, and again, that's where <laughs> straight away I'd say, no, it's not. Yeah, it's yeah, not that's 30. Fine. But I think that highlights an issue. I, I, I see it all the time with all the, my, yeah. especially the, a lot of the county juniors I teach and, and the better players. They're very quick getting out their lasers and sort of going, oh, it's 186 yards, etc. And then they pick that club because they know it goes that length. I think what the good players do at this range is they, they're automatically going, right, it's five, 
10, 15, yeah. that's, that's no more than 25 20. yeah. okay. at very worst. Yeah. Yeah. So you're 30, if you're standing there going, right, it's 30, it's 30, and you hit 30, you could be 10 out. Could be off the other side of the green. And actually having hit in your mind a good shot, but the measurement was out. So again, it is something I'd recommend to everyone. And only the other day, I was out doing a playing lesson and I had the same conversation, how far is that away? And the person I was teaching was out by a good 25 yards. Um, and ironically nailed it the length they thought it was, only to come up 25 yards short. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now obviously that was nearer 200 yards out, but sure. the principles work even at close range. So straight away, when you are doing your practice swings, I would log that one under more of 20. 25 probably gets you a couple plus. But that's the other thing, like you were saying about practice swings and, and we need to go into gap testing and knowing yeah. how far a quarter swing with this club goes, yeah. a half swing with this club goes. Yeah. Even if I know those yeah. and I've guessed that wrong, yes, it exactly. makes no difference. There's too many variables yeah. and we've got to start Get with rid very of of factuals and the first factual always is what is the length? Let's, let's, let's Get your distances nail this right. one. Let's say it's 20. Yeah. And now hit me a 20 yard shot. Okay, same club, because I don't yeah. want to go too high. Okay. Um, but I want it to try and get over this rough stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. And again, that's a pretty good shot. Yeah, died you, a bit at the end. Yeah, but. But I, I was looking at the positive. You you heard what I said about leave yourself an uphill putt, yeah, which yeah. you did. It's actually very nice. Um, I'll have a quick go. Yeah, yeah, I don't sure. think I'm going to improve on that too much. If I try and get the same lie as you had, uh, otherwise it's an unfair test. Um, and maybe the only thing you might see on the video that's different is I'll generally just hold my body position for longer you do have a habit of sort of almost having a little walk out I think and see where I think, it's going. I think I want to see what's happened to it. Yeah. Where you should just Certainly. ignore that and, yeah. and know what's happening to yeah. it. Definitely. I think you're quite excitable still about it. <laughs> I've always yeah. been excitable, yeah. Matt. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's have a go. Like I said, I can't see this being too different to what you've just done. Okay, we've got the whole well, surrounding. Yeah, but it's better, absolutely. Right. Yeah, okay. Yep. Let's see if we can hold it. Okay. And let's see, more importantly, if you can get your par. Right, John. You've got oh, all of a four yard putt uphill to save your par. At some point in the future, we'll go through line reading. Uh, um, I say line reading, reading greens and what you could do. But just tell me where you are aiming this one. Okay. So once again, it's a bit like giving me the measurement of the chip. Yep, I'm kind of aiming slightly to the left as I see it. Yeah. But not very much. Okay, so we're out here. Yeah, around right there really. Yeah, perfect. So left lip, uphill, greens are still slightly longer than the linksy style golf that you're used to playing. But have a go, see if you can save your par. And again, I'm going to give you that one. Okay. For your five. But again, I, at the moment, I'd be happy with that. Yes, But definitely. I want to, want to get better, I want the par. No, yeah. I want to be... Absolutely. I should be disappointed with it, not happy. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. But it's funny how it all comes down to putting, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Now, okay, obviously I drove it there, I've lifted it up, placed it where yours is. But it will still come down to if I hole, or I miss you hole, you win the hole with your shot. So suddenly your five, net four, I've actually got to hole this one now to actually make the difference. So let's have a go and see what happens. Yep. And again, wasn't a very good putt, it went past the hole, it's about all you can say for it. Um, but again, ultimately, we've actually walked off the hole with the same net score, your five net floor, yeah. my four. But that's what I like yeah. about golf, when you stop thinking 
oh, I have to, I'm playing against a, a, a pro, whether it be a teacher yeah. pro, playing yeah. pro, whatever, yeah. a scratch golfer, and actually play your own game. Yes. Because you're only in the end playing against yourself, aren't you? Ne oh, never against definitely. anybody else, definitely. really. Yeah. It's all a number game, isn't it? Yeah. And the other big thing there is a lot of people play golf this for fun. And I think that's what we've got to remember. It's meant to be enjoyable. There's no point beating yourself up about the score, but at the same time, this whole uh, winter overall that we're trying to do for you overhaul of your golf over the winter is is going to be marked on a enjoyment as we said uh b taking money off that smithy character <laughs> or anybody to and, be honest, or anyone yeah. or anyone and c the actual results as in the numbers sure. so yeah i just want to see an improvement I, I feel an improvement in my game yeah yeah I don't want to be stagnated anymore. Yes, and, and certainly so far, what have we made? Bogey on that first hole, bogey on that one. Admittedly, we've played two of the more easier holes here at the golf course. At the same time, you still had to make Consistency, the Consistency, I've actually played better than I normally do. My yeah. pitches have actually been pretty good. Yeah. Uh, maybe slightly long, but that's yeah. fine. Putting has been as good as it normally is, which yeah. is pretty close. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, definitely. So far, I know we've got lots moment. of things to work on in technique and improve that, yeah, yeah, yeah. And get better distances, etc. Yeah. But so far, yeah, but I'm it, gives, happy. it gives me a flavour of what you do out in the golf course. Yeah, because you don't see that either. Because no. most teachers on the range yeah, and they, yeah. they don't get to see yeah, people yeah, play. Definitely. Yeah, so, it's got to be done in real life, real life yeah. environment. Yeah. So perfect. How many more holes are we doing today? We're going to do one. One. Okay. So we'll. Permit, we'll. I was going to close it on this one and do another part, but no, we'll do it all as one no, video. No, it's a lovely day. It's a lovely day. We'll do one video. The helicopter is still going round. <laughs> the guy cutting the logs or, or the trees down has stopped. But yeah, we're going to do, we'll do another one. one. Okay. Yeah, on. Okay, Matt. What have we got to do here? Right. Um, well, if you ain't hit your best shot, would be nice. Uh, but shot more driver, importantly, yeah. what I was trying to do is get some video imagery that we can base it on. I know you're filming the session. I still like to get it done on slow mo on the camera, yeah? Okay, okay on the phone. Yep. So you can see a line down there is the white hole sign down okay. on the third hole. So as you look, the hole goes round to the left. So it the should, the, the dog yeah, so left, it should it? suit your little drawers. If it happens. Yeah. So go I want to do a practice for it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good to go. Pretty good. Pretty good for me. Pretty good. I think yeah. that's pretty good for everyone. Um, and more importantly, first tip or second tip, <laughs> only play holes that go right to left, John. Yeah, well, that's Very exactly. Good. I could be a Colin Montgomery, isn't it? Is that right? <laughs> he couldn't play one the other. I don't know which one it was, but he couldn't. Draw a ball, you can only fade or something like that. Yeah, I don't you know. Can only fade it. It'd be a very anti-social game with him, though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we never talk to each other. Way. We never see each other. No, exactly. <laughs> right, I'll try and do the same, but just give it a little bit more. So, yeah, yeah, I think I'm very worried about accuracy more than distance at the moment. So me, it's just trying to get it in the right place, and that actually, for me, was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that was lovely, and we'll see that when we get down there. Nothing wrong with what you've just done. Right, let's try and be a little bit cheeky and cut a little bit off down here. I wish I could hit a ball like that. I will do. Get out the toe though. Oh, just run out of the way. Okay, I think it's okay. We'll take it. Yeah, absolutely. I needed your draw. Yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, John. Surprisingly or unsurprisingly, you're in the middle of the fairway. I know. Yeah. So, I was actually uh, just saying that to you. That yeah. My expectations. This is a brilliant shot for me. Yeah, it's yeah, actually yeah. cracking. But I should actually hire my expectations. I yes. shouldn't think, oh, I'm always going to get a bad shot. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said to you, I want you to see some really bad shots so yeah. you can see the reality. Yeah, but the reality yeah. is this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah, should yeah. be, shouldn't yeah. it? Oh, definitely should be, and it shows your potential, doesn't it? Um. And I will say, your ball's in the fairway, yeah? Yours is just off the edge, I think. Isn't it? Mine's definitely not on the fairway, yeah. even though it's gone further. So, but in my eyes, it looks so much better. You know, yeah. It's higher and yeah. it's a lovely shot. Yeah. 
Um, but we're also saying that's the other good thing about you filming it. Yes. Well, on your camera. Yeah. That you can show me it back and go, well, actually, whether it is or not, I don't know yeah. yet, but the swing wasn't too bad up to a certain oh, point. Wasn't too bad yeah. up to a certain point. Yeah. But in my eyes, yeah. I am always think I'm just hitting it yeah. and I'm just struggling. It's very easy to see the negative all the time, yeah. isn't yeah, yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, But come on, let's finish in all positive. Okay. Am uh, I guessing yardages again? 100-ish. Yeah, I'd say 100. Yeah, so... A bit so, downhill as well, yeah, isn't it? a little it? bit downhill. I need to be on the left half of that green, ideally. Okay, well, guessing on the fact we did the 100 one up there, but yeah. it was uphill and I was short, we yeah. still do the same eight iron. Yeah, I maybe think, maybe was. one less because I think you're hitting it better now anyway. Go Until nine. Until now, yeah. yeah. Okay. Go nine, and if you go short, I'll take responsibility. No, it's fine, Matt. I'll, I'll always take responsibility. No, I, I just said to the viewers, I'll take responsibility. So. Okay, so we're going nine. Okay. Could be bunker, Matt. Do one of those. Perfect. Yes, we are. I'm sure he did that deliberately. <laughs> just yeah, to I get might have done. Bunker. That's fine, but again, it's why we're out here. So, again, yes, yeah, go and have a look at a bunker shot. Yeah. Again, again, though, distance wise, it would have probably just hit the edge of the green and might have gone a bit higher. Yeah, might have gone know, a bit higher. Say, it, it, so, actually, it might be better yeah. being in the bunker. Yep, yeah. no, it was, it was a nice enough shot, but it's that direction. Yeah. Left. I was constantly trying to remember the practice shot where it misses the grass. That's no good. Go yeah. back to practice shot, brush yeah. the grass. At least yeah. I got that bit. Yeah, definitely. Oh, there's a lot of positives. It was just a bit of a bit of a right to left again going yeah, on. It's that lefty bit. Yeah, isn't yeah, it? yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Let's go. Come on, we'll go find it. Right, just a quick one, John. This session's more about you, but I am going to play mine just to show the viewers again. You were in the middle of a fairway. I'm um, two yards in the rough. Um, luckily for me, nothing to go over, um, and I'm thinking it's going low simply because there's some banks, quite a big bank in front of the green. So I've got an eight iron, I'm gonna land it short and hopefully it trickles down onto that green. Which it does. Lovely. Oh, we'll take the result. Absolutely let's take that. Let's go find your one in the bunker. You can't complain with that, can you? Exactly. Okay, let's go to the bunker, Matt. Let's rock and roll. Right. Right, John, you're in the bunker, just as well. Wedge, just as well you hit it in this bunker, otherwise I might have thrown it in the bunker just to have a look at your bunkers. Because I must, uh, I must admit, I have heard a couple of rumours. <laughs> bunkers isn't your best. You don't best need to hear rumours; just to watch the videos, man. Exactly. Come on. <laughs> exactly. So, but come on, confidence up. Okay. What's the worst thing that's going to happen? It doesn't come out. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, but at the same time, the positive, you could hold it. Some of those for the other, other glasses, because I was okay. using those to see in the screen on the camera. Yeah. Right. Now you look like a golfer. No, I just look cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's the important thing at the moment.
couldn't. Because I, that, there was nothing better than that, apart yeah. from starting probably for me, yeah. when I went further with the through. sharp yeah. fall through. Yeah. And it got on the green, which yeah, is definitely. perfect. For me, I'd be, just be pleased to got it off. Yeah, definitely. And next time we, we did a bung put, I'll do some video from this side. Yeah. And, what, and like I said, I'm going to tempt fate and say, what I don't want to see is this falling back. I want to see you moving with the shot. Yeah, and we've been working that cup of tea drill and the other Definitely. one. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and I have Absolutely. been working on that. I've actually sent Matt a couple of videos yeah. like this week to say it's improved. I think it has. Yeah, definitely. I may have forgotten it while we're doing this, which yeah. is another problem. Well, obviously, it's a cup of tea in a bunker now. Yeah. So. The mug. <laughs> the mug of the mug of tea now. Yeah, or coffee, indeed. Okay. Right, come well, on. Hello. Let's go pop this last one out. I've got this one. Right, right John, while you get your putter, I'm just going to hole out. Tell me you got that one. Yeah, I did. Uh, camera's on, Matt. I picked the three easiest holes on the golf course to try and get a birdie. And before anyone says I put the flag in, we're playing ready for golf rules. Right, all jokes aside, last part of the day, we've already seen so many positives, which yeah, is great. We've seen a serious negative, which we know. Yes. But I already knew, but you need yeah. to see it yourself. Indeed, yeah. So, come on, finish it off with a solid two putt. It's probably about 10, 12 yards. One, two. Ten yards gets you to the hole. Okay, and I'm thinking it's a little bit up, slightly then down, and a little bit right to left. But Correct, uh, yeah. So I think you're lying somewhere out here. Just too weak, wasn't it? Yeah. Line was okay. Yeah, just line read was good. But that's the other thing, I've messed up a bad hole. It just says, hang on, next time we need to be able to keep our confidence going all the time. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so it's a great insight into how your mind works, how, how your body's working in terms of some of the shots you're playing. But I think the biggest thing you see out in the golf course is like when you're in your unfavoured position like a bunker yeah. and how suddenly for someone that's hit probably their best drive they've hit yeah, absolutely I forget that that's the best drive I've hit yeah. probably all the year yeah and a good well, can it be a good shot if it goes into a bunker you struck it well into the bunker yeah um and again maybe that's another thing if we can just get this accuracy more there's huge scope and sure. like I said this a realistic goal we set if you watched the previous video of half in the handicap blimey we can definitely half your handicap, yeah? Okay. Just so so getting my confidence yeah, together. It's all confidence, yeah. isn't it, yeah? I was saying to you a minute ago, I was just really nervous going into the bunker. Yeah. There's no reason why. I wasn't nervous or anything else. Yeah, 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 why should yeah. I have been okay. literally shaking to get in there? Yeah. Knowing what was going to go wrong. Yeah. And actually really pleased I got it out. Yeah. And then you put it on its spot and I put it in again, which then yeah. went wrong. O obviously, so, as a child, you didn't spend enough time on the beach building well, sand castles. No, I was in the sea swimming. Exactly, because all I remember about sand is nice holidays, building sand castles. So when I see a bunker, I think good things. Yeah. And now as a golfer, I go in a bunker and I just think, yeah, good. I, yeah. I don't mind bunkers. So Sweep it out and it's exactly. gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And build sand castles. Um, well, like I've done that plenty of times and yeah. dug a few holes. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, right. so. Yeah. That's the end of the assessment, Matt, yeah? End of the assessment today. Okay. That part, that is part and parcel of the other two parts of the video. Yeah, so this has been a three-part assessment video. If yeah. you haven't seen the other two parts, go back and look at part one and two. Yeah. These will all be out in one week um, over that, over the 
course of that week. Yeah. So this will be the third, and hopefully you've already seen the other two. Yeah, and this is, this would be done normally in a morning. It yeah, we just really had to do filming and bad weather. We had to fit in yeah. different times. So. And it's good that John picked a nice sunny day to come yeah. back. And apart from the helicopter that keeps flying around, it was perfect today. Yeah, absolutely. I yeah. just get cold, cold, hence the jacket on. So, but there you go. But pleasure, John. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll book you in for next week. Yep, and, and then, then we'll, we'll start work on with the actual your plan. Unit, yeah, the units of improvement. Your battle plan. Yeah, definitely. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Matt. Well, buddy. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Uh, sorry I still can't hit out of the bunker, but we are working on it, I promise. Indeed. So, if you've liked the Oggy overhaul, uh, if you're not subscribing already, please subscribe. Um, and these are going to be regular updates now. Now we've done the assessment, there'll be lots of hints and tips as we go along. And obviously you'll try and hope to watch my progress. I assume we'll be on courses at some point Definitely, as well. Yeah, 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 and yeah. on the range and on short game areas and wherever we go. Thank you no, very no. much to the helicopter. See you all again soon. Bye for now. <laughs> I was say, that's my left eye. <laughs>